Dungeons and Dorkheads is brought to you by Green Man Gaming. Head down to the link below to help head out to productions and get some great deals on video games. Not only that, but the show is also available in podcast form. That link is also down below. Dodge, dodge, dodge. So, spook. Um, maximum spook. So everybody's kind of scrambling and be- getting on alert because these two armored thugs just waltzed up. Oh yeah, they rolled perception right before. Yeah, Lydia and Marcel both rolled perception, and they succeeded. From across the street. From this position, all the way at the top level of this building, about a hundred and something feet away. Mm-hmm. Mm. There's the ever so slightest glint of glass reflecting off a scope of a rifle. That's a gun. Aimed That's directly. Gun. I don't need a perception check to know that. The, aimed that directly do- at your boy, Tommy. That's a well, gun. Let That's me crazy. actually see if Tommy's... Let me, let me see if see Tommy's... Tommy sees it. Does Tommy realize he's fucked? <laughs> uh, Tommy might not realize he's fucked right now. All right, roll for Tommy. I mean, yeah, the, you did say he was being overconfident. Well, with the, oh, see. yeah, well, uh, you and what army? And then the fucking snipers has already got a beat on him. What is Tommy's... Uh, question. Is what is Answer. your question, Hunter? Conservatively. What percentage of a chance do I have at hitting it? Uh, uh, combat hasn't started. That's the answer. I don't know. How well, far actually, you, no, you can shoot him. Um, is he behind cover? I don't know. Oh, hey, to follow. He is essentially in almost full cover. Damn. So, B, if you right click, it makes another one. Oh no! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the fuck? Let me oh. see. What are the? Let me see. What's the what rule the for that? Fuck? When the um, when was this a thing? I literally just figured out. What a Octi, what? make this stop. <laughs> Octi, help. He's make a pentagram. <laughs> huh? The best laid plans, huh, guys? <laughs> yep. How do you erase this? <laughs> um, you've got to get. I let go of what? That's one. Okay. Yeah, gotta get let it go. Let it go. See, I figured something out. Now, how do I do that? Oh shit! <laughs> now how do I do that? <laughs> ruler so that I can actually figure out how far away I am from the fucking thing. Okay, you, you just go your... to the ruler tool, and then you middle click will have left click. But you just gotta drag it from yourself to like wherever yeah, the sniper. Yeah, just drag. Probably... Just don't do it multiple. Just drag it from one to the other. I can't like here's the, the furthest tool. distance on. The... Okay, so you click on. You look at. You see the bar up there, right? No, the ruler... fourth item down has a ruler on it. Yeah, yeah, it has a ruler with a circle. You and click then on you just that. Click and drag. Yeah, you drag from yourself, or from wherever, and you'll start making ruler marks. Yeah, like, there's you, and we pull it, and it's all the fuck over here. I don't think you figured it out yet. What are you clicking on, Hunter? What's the button? Okay, the one that's a circle with a stick in it? Yeah, I see it. I'm I'm looking at it. Yeah, Yeah, just click it, and it'll have, like, the... What is it? Snap to center or whatever? Now whenever you mouse... Click and drag. Now whenever you click and drag, it'll do a thingy. Yeah, that's dragging the whole damn map. Um, left oh, click. go hold back. Left click. Hold only yeah, hold left, left click. click. Hold only left click. Yeah, only left click. Ignore the right click function. That's kind of problematic. Yeah, only left somewhere. click and hold. So, there are a couple options for you, Hunter. Uh, assuming hey. that you're assuming on that yourself. You can That's not on yourself. Sneak the barrel of your gun past the hey. guys who are looking pretty much directly at you. Like, that you can sneak you taking aim at the guy in the other window. I would call that, you know, being very steady and taking aim. So if you were to shoot him, you would get a plus four on your shot against him. What if I made that shot from here? Yeah, he is at short range. 
They say short range. Yeah, 150 feet. You have, uh, like, 250 feet on your gun. 120 foot shot. And he would be... There wouldn't be any glare, so no anything... Yeah, I don't have a that. scope. And I think... Where's the cover mods? Um, it's under defense, I think? Wait, no. Under... A... Attack. Go to Stop a... Being a hundred. Attack. You might cut the sound in the final production. Given no, my combat. seven on firearms... Combat standard maneuvers attack after before defense. There should be like a picture of two horses of like two caravans chasing each other or whatever. Visibility and cover. Oh yeah, um, visibility and cover. Yeah, so he would be in half cover. So you would get your full. You would basically get your full plus seven. On that, yeah. You would so basically you get your full. Eight. You would basically get your full seven to roll against him to see if you hit. And it's a regular shot, uh, short range, no craziness. So I'm going to say, uh, um, probably, probably a DC four to hit him. You got to get four out of seven, Hunter, if you're going to do that. That's pretty, I like those odds. Just above average. Also, the way that you're actually the way that you're shooting him right now is three lethal, one AP because you're using three o uh, thirty six. Yeah. So that shot is three lethal. Uh, so I have a question, real quick. Can you guys please talk about this during combat and not one of our like we're before combat? Because I, I hate this tension of Betty just being like basically in a line of fire. I just kind of okay, want to get out of the way. Fine. Oh, okay. You could have dived out of the way, or you could just you know. Couldn't I have? Like I, yeah, don't, you, I said you, no, and I was just kind of like, okay, I guess. No, you haven't declared anything to do yet. Like we have. I want to get out of the right fucking yet. way. Get you behind. Get out of the way. Yeah, like this isn't my. All right, business. so get behind Po. So okay, so measure from where you were. Um, thirty feet. I can move 30 fucking feet, are you kidding me? That's a lot. Wow. <laughs> Very quick horsey sprint. Yeah, yeah I'm you're, gonna... you're sprinting. Like, you're fucking you're running. If that's on, what you're, you're trying you're to do, your you're running. Hoops. You're on your four hooves. Yeah, uh, fucking yeet. <laughs> yeet. <laughs> Alright, yeet. Okay, so yeah, yeet. everybody everybody scatters, essentially. What is Marcel doing? Everybody fucking scatters, leaving Tommy all alone. Right? <laughs> I don't know fucking all there, Tommy. Go fuck himself. So, okay. So, Tommy sees this, and he just instantly deflates. <laughs> <laughs> Did he think and Butterfeathers was going to fucking save him? So, he just instantly deflates, and he, he puts his hooves up and just kind of leans back on the... Wait, did he see back the on sniper? The bench. No, he saw everyone fucking running away from him in fear. But did he see the sniper? Oh, that's right. He never rolled. No, no, he rolled. He didn't see oh, the sniper. Okay. Okay. <laughs> they just oh, but shit to what does it mean? Hunter situation. did. Yeah. Oh, so only, are... only the only people who see the sniper are Hunter and uh, Lydia. Marcel. Mar yeah. Lydia Hunter chose Marcel. to start aiming back, and I don't know. Oh yeah, Marcel. Lydia and Marcel. Thank you. Yeah. I Lydia's thirsty for blood. <laughs> what Marcel do? Lydia hasn't done well, anything. Well, I stood yet. up and am like we're not there at yet. the ready. Like I jumped off of the bench and I'm just at we're, the ready. We're basically for what going happens. through how this is go how this pre anything resolves through turn based RP. I was right, just wondering right. if I was gonna have to like make an acrobatics check to like dive out of the way as no, the dude. You just ran. Up. Nobody's stopping you. They're here for Tony. Yeah, no, they're here for Tony. They ain't here for me. Who the fuck am I even? Who are they? I don't know. This ain't none of my business. So yeah, Tony but... just kind of instantly deflates. And he puts his hooves up and he leans back. He's just like, hey, Tommy. He's just like, don't call me Tommy. This guy right here, just don't call me Tommy. You are, you lost that right. <laughs> you lost that right a long time ago. The other guy's like, yeah. Yeah, you tell him, Tommy. It's just like. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking Timmy. <laughs> Tony, Tommy, and Timmy. Oh boy, the team. And he's just like, oh, oh okay, boss. <laughs> Tense. And so, so this guy, he walks up. Fuck. 
Uh, he, Fuck. He goes, he goes clippity cloppity cloppity clop and clip, and he walks up to, to, to Tommy up here on the bench. And he just kind of leans in, and he's just like, do you know what you just did? Do you know who these people are? And Tommy's like, no, no, who, who are they? And this guy's like, fucking nobody. This time he's like, oh, look, I'm sorry. The other guy's like, uh, sorry's, sorry's ain't good enough. We know what you've been doing. And Tommy's like, I ain't been doing nothing. And the other guy's like, no, that ain't true. You ain't, you have been doing something. And the guy takes his hoof and he fucking yanks Tommy's head so that it's facing that building. He's like, you see that? And it's only then that Tommy sees the glint of the sniper. And Tommy's like, oh, shit. He's like, yeah. Yeah. It was a setup the whole time. We knew. We knew, Tommy. And this guy backs up. Right? So he backs up. He's like, it's out of our hands now, man. It's out of our hands, and he... Him and Timmy Don't you mean silently. hooves? Huh? Don't you mean hooves? Whatever. It's fucking... out of our hooves? They're wearing fucking hands wearing... like filthy I mean, I mean, hands is a thing now. I actually kind of like that. Whatever. Fuck it. It's out of our fucking methods So they, they, they leave, right? And they they go Yeah, as they're leaving, I, can, can, do I get like a chair while they're leaving? Yeah. Yeah, I just want to like get behind cover. Because I can fucking guess that there's a sniper or someone gonna come from there. I'm just gonna hide. Can you? Yeah, I can probably guess that. That's the fucking mob place. There's probably like. Uh, everything. I'm gonna have to ask you to roll for that insight. Roll for streetwise? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, it's just a thing of like, okay, cool. So that was basically the Don's place. There's probably some dudes up there. They said there was a guy upstairs. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Roll insight. Well, regardless, I'm still going to try to get away, but sure, just to sell, tell if Betty's, like, big brain or not. Sure, what's my insight? Uh, eight. Eight? All right, the guy's flew up the way. The GFO is probably going to, doesn't know about Snipper at all. He's going to follow Three. Betty, because Betty. Three. So. Three? Uh, you got to idea. There's gonna be something from that house. There's I don't something. like it. How far can my horsey horse go? Where it is, Lydia but you is know still something. ready to shoot, by the way. How far can my horse? You haven't readied your gun. The gun's fucking ready. How long do you? How long does it take you to unwrap your gun? Not long. And steady it's it like, and sit there. It's like she pulls a string and boom, it like falls off of her basically. Okay, so all right. It probably right, takes well, a fucking while to repack it. All right, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it um, just takes a while to repack see, it. See, you, you needed to tell me that because those guys were looking right at you. So for all intents and purposes, your gun is not readied, and you have not been aiming it. But it's loaded. It is loaded. Okay. Your gun's <laughs> loaded. You haven't been aiming it, and it's just been you've been holding it. Right. Fine. So, okay. When do I take aim? Uh, I mean, That's you can do it. Solid. You could basically do whatever, except bang! There's a crack, right? And everybody squints for a second because they're just like, oh god, we just killed a guy. We just killed a guy. Give me that faux scream flying away movement. The scree? <laughs> Not a scream, we're just like, oh fuck. Just, ah! Take a side flight of spook. God, you guys are such cowards. Man, we don't need to wrestle the mob so, this early. Okay, you're no, no, Opti, Opti, you call us fucking cowards. I have to ask you, why the hell should we give a shit about fucking Tony? We got the I info, we can go. <laughs> Did you, though? Yes! Well, you know exactly. I know a description of the guy that we can get from somewhere else that's not about to be hit off by the fucking mafia. Do also, he's killed. He Where you get that in the warehouse? From? What? He also yeah. mentioned a warehouse. 
Yeah. The we- the guy who caused the massacre at the warehouse with a bunch of stiffs in there. And there's uh, news articles. Okay, all right. Look- I see where you're going. I see and he said it went it. viral. He said it went viral. We could go look into that. There's newspapers. You're right. No, you got it. And Bo only has affiliation to the fucking Betty and Co. detective agency. Fuck that guy. He's fucking... He's, okay. he, was, he was one of them anyway. Well, I'm going to resolve this anyway. So basically, yeah. <laughs> this boy right here... Yeah. He's a fucking boss. Whoa. So, this gun over here goes off, right? And it just goes... And the bullet just goes fucking... Where's my little... It goes... All the... And then this guy... This guy, Tommy... Tommy, he ain't having none of that. He fucking flips the bench over. He fucking nice. flips it. And just uh, <laughs> just knee jerk, just like... Puh! And he <laughs> flips the bench... And lands, and the bullet comes careening past him and slams into the tree right behind him, making a poop. Bark goes yeah. flying everywhere, and he's on the ground. I'm gonna have Marcel and Lydia roll perception. Lydia, you get a plus two because at this point, I'm assuming you like flicked the gun up. Yeah, she. she... Lydia's sitting there waiting for them to fire first, so then it's self-defense. Yeah, okay. So, so Lydia... So how many am I rolling? Uh, your perception plus two. Perception but add two eight. dice. Don't eight. do the plus Jesus. two. Since everybody else is doing D8s, One, I'll do D8s. Two. Yay! Join us. Three, yeah, I count four. four. And you got... One, I, I got three. Two, three. All right, so three. All right, both of you see it. So the guy in the window up there, he immediately drops his rifle. Like, immediately drops it and books. What do you do? Because at this point, he's got to make it. At this point, he's got to make it out of that house. All right. So I, like, move here-ish and I'm watching that door you're watching this door right Mm -hmm. here right Uh all right draw me a line Um, how do you mean draw me a line from your character draw me your sight line okay okay and so you're are you aiming it so the door is right here I'm assuming you're aiming it right at the door. You know, no, it's like you know when you go when you play XCOM and you go on Overwatch. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. I'll let you do that. It's like that. Um, I'll let you do that, but you're going to have to take a minus two for snapshot. Okay. It's within range, and you're not getting any other penalties. I'm only giving you the snapshot penalty because you have to react really quickly. Yep. All right, so you're aiming at the door. Uh, Marcel, what is your plan? I was going to say, right now... Holy shit, you guys ran far. I didn't even notice you moved your tokens. They fucking screamed and ran away like Oh, I didn't scream. Betty, Betty was, didn't. like, silent. Fo, okay, Fo, Fo, like, Fo did. Fo, Fo did the scree of his people. Because he didn't notice the history of my people. He didn't notice the fucking sniper. He was not ready for a fucking sniper. Maybe Benny was, but he's like, ah, shit, sniper. I'm That's in the amazing. goddamn open. The agoraphobia is kicking in. Well, <laughs> I'm actually. I'm I just actually like gonna the, go... the idea that you like you can't even you can't see foe's wings, but you just hear like a little. Yeah. Just like okay. Out like, boosts away with the curiosity. Screen. So like our foe and Betty out of combat because because yes, and Bo like, and Betty uh foe and Betty are out of combat. They are what nowhere. What if Bo ain't though? Like he, he okay, I followed her across the street. He's gonna scream at like there are fucking clients. <laughs> just just get her out of get her out of fucking sni- sniper fire. But like also we these people are gonna pay us though, right? This is what the well, I go can over. We, can, we converse to... an hour during our turn. I go over to. Uh, Lydia, while Lydia is lining up that shot, and I just Follow get me. like, no, I get right up next to her and I say, do you really think you want to do this? You don't know who this is. You know it's Mafia. 
are you sure you want to make this choice? Because you can have an entire mafia that has nothing to do with your husband coming after you if you take this shot. He wasn't aiming for us. Are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> you, you, I'm sorry, but you can't you can't avenge your husband if you're dead. Lydia points the rifle down the street but doesn't fire. It's just just like her way of saying, don't you come any closer. I'll mess you up. <gasps> okay. <gasps> All right. Damn it, I was really hoping you guys were gonna do something. Okay, so the guy he busts out of this door onto the street. And he's sitting here, and he looks both ways. Like, like he doesn't know where you guys went until he sees you standing here in the middle of the park where he just shot. And he's like, oh. And I walk out fuck, like... From, he fucking I walk it. out from behind the tree so he could get a good long look. Yeah, he, no, he fucking booked. Like, he's gone. <laughs> like, he saw you guys and just fucking just gone. Pew, bye-bye. Okay, now bear with me. This rifle takes like a minute to put back in the. <laughs> <laughs> Lydia just like lays out oh. the fucking tarp or whatever and starts carefully wrapping it like it's her bird, like the Santa I... gift to her daughter. Yeah, like it's easy to unwrap. Like it's the easiest thing in the world to unwrap. I'm wrapping it back up. <laughs> I, I wanted to go Tommy over just, to like, where Tommy over is. And it's just yeah. like. Yeah, I well, want to yeah. go over to where Tommy is if he's, yeah. if he's still there. Open RP. Uh, no more. Uh, if, if things get hectic, I'll start doing turns, but for now, open RP, essentially. Tommy. Hey guys, get the fuck over here. What the fuck? God. Yeah, yeah, what What do you want? Oh. Well, I, well, you're alive. Very Jesus. lucky for you, but... Yeah, damn right I'm alive. No thanks to you lot, you bunch of fucking... Hey, man, you I, do, you, do, you, do, you re do you really think we want to deal with Mafia after yeah, us? There, Look, you team, almost were about to get at, fucking off in a second like, protect there, buddy. Your ass. <laughs> Are you kidding me, you guys? Did you run over here and hear the conversation that fucking quickly? Yeah. We're just running over because there's like, I, I just <laughs> never discovered. But Tommy, before we get the fuck out of here, because I don't want to get up in all the biz that you're currently under, anything else you want to say to us before you get the hell out of here to save your hide? I ain't getting out of here, nobody. Mm -mm. No, no, no. You guys ditched me. To be fair, I didn't ditch you, I was on the lookout. He's just pissed. Y'all ditched me. And I had to pull some... Some... Uh, I didn't think of any puns. <laughs> I imagine him actually saying that. Just like, I had to pull some... Tommy, that's not the important thing. All of us are always trying to watch out that we don't die. And we knew this was Mafia country. Do you really think we want to nah, try nah, and fight nah, them? Nah, 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 nah. Look. I stuck my neck out for you once, and I saved my own neck. Thank you very much. Lydia's still now. wrapping up the rifle, not that anyone cares. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody helped me or anything. You can wrap your own fucking gun. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I told you, it takes a while to... <laughs> <laughs> You're just sitting over there muttering to yourself. <laughs> you are fucking desperate. Yeah, my God. <laughs> All right, Hunter, you get a style point for, <laughs> for funniness. <laughs> Not my fucking gun. problem. <laughs> also, Bub, you get a style point for actually trying to take care of the NPC I spent time on. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm fucking insane. I protect this rando. Hey, it's. I bet you already got a style point. What? I got a style point? Yeah, you got a style point for your fucking awesome response to to Marcel, where you were just like, oh. I, like, BS, like, oh, so what do you think? And Marcel goes out and, like, tells his story, and then you just pipe in, just like, yeah, well, that doesn't fucking help. <laughs> well, it doesn't. It didn't, and I was just like, perfect. Good job, you get a style point. I don't remember getting a style point, but thank you.
Where the fuck are we keep? Uh, here we go. So what's that? Uh, right, you put in your style points. So what's that like four you, you now? I'm gonna try yeah. to. I want to try to do something real quick. Uh, I'm gonna try four. to calm down and just explain my point. It's like, well, geez, I'm sorry, Tommy, but I, I just, but like, I'm just a poor innocent horse. I, I can't, I can't protect myself, much less you. Uh, kind of like well seduction to like add cuteness factor to that. Bat my eyes and all that. Sure, go ahead. Oh, widow owed me. Yeah, minus eight though. A minus, minus eight. Minus eight, Christ. We'll take eight away from the he's first. He's fucking survive. mad right now. Like, like is that minus eight successes or? Uh, your it is a minus eight to your dice pool. Yeah, I just re rolling, I guess. Uh, how long now. has the conversation been going now? Huh? That's a four. Uh, their conversation. How long has it been going? Like a, it's like a it's, minute. Okay. It's totally even. Still like wrapping up the gun, but almost finished. One, two. So, yeah. Nah, he's he's really pissed. He's softened a little bit, but he's really pissed. I like quiver my little, my little legs for a fact showing how weak I am. I told you I wanted to take us somewhere well, safer, but you want to sit out here in the fucking open, and I'm going to snipe her, and I can't protect anyone if you're just going to sit there and get shot. Oh, fuck. Lydia's yeah, it's pretty. Lydia's it wasn't really smart if you'd gone and, and open like over. this. Come on, you fuck off the whatever family, piss off the whatever family. It's words. Hi, yeah, I told shit. you, he's my cousin. Well, you Call know, yes. two shoes. He's my cousin. I used to work for him. And, and I go way shot. back, but apparently he's pissed at me. Yeah. I wouldn't know why. I've just been spitting his uh, his secrets to the feds. Oh, that. Oh shit, that's why. What made you think that was a good idea? I don't Are you know. retarded? I was getting paid. <laughs> Damn, I thought that's he'd be crazy, happy. Bro. I don't remember asking. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta oh, expect this kind of this shit's point. gonna happen if you start blabbing your mouth. Come on, man. Even I'd fucking shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> a part of the cops even <laughs> I'd shoot you. Even I'd shoot you. <laughs> yeah. Style point for B. <laughs> Got a lot of people. <laughs> well, you know, be what, over Tommy? here like fuck. I'd shoot you <laughs> if you have a problem with your cousin. There's always family therapy. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Oh no 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 no! You don't get off that easy. No, I can still shoot you. <laughs> Come you on, foe. You could do that, but yeah, I don't know. Like I don't know who the cops are going to side with, but you you could you could do that. Look, 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 man. Just I... fucking... See, here's the thing. You left me to die. You owe me. Um, Bay's gone. Um, I, I, don't, I don't think Lydia, you understand. Like, I, I Lydia just finally that, chimes yeah. in, asks, what the fuck do you want? <laughs> Works both ways. I Works want you <laughs> to take a little revenge for me. Mm. I just had my cousin... Stake a goon in a house across the street as I'm just taking a nice stroll with some friends, obviously. And he tries to take my freaking head off. Nah, nah, nah. You don't, you don't do that to Tommy Two Hoods. You don't do that to me. Nah. I want you guys to get a little revenge for me. Are you interested? Yeah, like and get the mafia on our ass. Money. Oh, why, why are you still bothering with Timmy Toofy? How about how about this? The best fucking source of info. How about this? We got an info already. Let's not go. Not only, not only, our clients are gonna you. die. How about this? Not we're only gonna die if we go I after the fucking money. mafia. Not only will I pay you money, but I'll tell you everything I know about these killer guys that you're so fascinated about. Let's That's go. Good for you gotta, you. We already got what we want. You got go. a safe house or something? I hear I hear Lydia saying, Let's go. Let's go. No. But he didn't want to do it. It's my birthday. I'll do what I want. Well, good for you. We can't really hey, solve the case again, the clients look, get killed. Well, here's the thing. Well, happy you birthday. You do not have to go along with the rest of the party. Fo, fo, it's look, also not my birthday. This is why we have them pay part in advance, but, so that way we but, still get something if our if our if our clients fucking die by uh, doing something stupid like get involved with mafia work. That ain't my fucking job. But, but 
but something about good clientele and um good good service customer Custom services always customers right. always right no the customers always right no the customer okay. is especially not right when they get you involved in a scandal that could ruin your fucking reputation. But that guy's not mafia detective. anymore. See, he ain't mafia at mafia. this point. He's okay. just going to be considered a weasel. Okay, Betty, Betty, Betty. Look, honey, sweet. All right, Tommy. Look, I, I... As what? No, sh you shush. You shush. Okay? <laughs> I'm trying to give you something, but if you don't let me fucking talk, I'm going home. Now then, Mr. Tommy Two Hooves, I am a part of Betty and Co's detective agency. One of our new things, apparently, is we deal with mafia work. If you would like to hire us to go deal with a little bit of, you know, taking care of some bad guys who have been giving you trouble, then we would happily go for that. Otherwise, I'm afraid we just have to take our business elsewhere. Ah, I see what you're getting at. Uh huh. Ah, I understand. Got it. Okay. So you do work a little bit like the mafia. I get it. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Damn then that's fine. I will. Shit. I will hire you for your services, as he does little like hoof air quotes. <laughs> like I will hire you for your services in exchange for compensation of various kinds. Pleasure to do business with you, Mr. Two Hooks. Oh, the pleasure's all mine, sweetheart. And he... Don't fucking call me that. <laughs> you may refer to me as Detective Butterfeathers, or you may refer to me as a series of gargles. Isn't Butterfeathers like uh, what? I roll, intimi roll intimidation? Yeah, I'll roll my fucking intimidation. Isn't Butterfeathers what? like eight? Foe makes gargle noises. Eight? What? No, Butterfeathers is a is a full grown adult. Okay, maybe I'm maybe 31. maybe maybe what Lydia. I've been picturing this whole time. <laughs> you know what? That's probably wow. that's what Lydia thinks. That's the point. Lydia is convinced. That's her fucking style. Lydia is a fucking idiot, by the way. <laughs> In that case. One, two, three, four, five. Damn. <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> you think Betty she's eight, and then Abby. you follow her. You think she's eight, and then you follow her. Why would you do that? <laughs> you are the dumbest. <laughs> I mean, you're not, you're, you're fine, but in the case that you were, that, it, what you were thinking, you're stupid. Roll for bluff. <laughs> roll for bluff that you thought that I mean, You should roll for insight to see if you can get past your own preconception. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, if, hold if, on. You don't want me to roll on. for intelligence. If, if Fo, roll if, for dumbassery. Fo made a gargling noise. His intelligence roll's really, really good. Fo made a gargling <laughs> noise. Does this Isn't help? Five? The, it's, it's, uh, it's four. Yeah, I got six, six. It's four, four so you get an eight. <laughs> Foe made gargling noises. Does that help? <laughs> With into dude. Betty, small as she is, scared the shit out of the guy. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she, she is, is very, a very fucking angry... mad that she has to deal with this shit now because Mr. Two Hoofs is getting his panties in a bunch. She's a very angry small horse, and that's why Fo. Very angry her. small horse, exactly. And, and I want you to know if there's that, one that, thing, if there's one thing that Tommy has learned in his life, and it is never to deal with a very angry small mare, because that's how you get your nuts bitten off. <laughs> I mean, in yeah, I general, just... it's true. Mares are way more full of fucking attitude and spunk than the males. I just want to make sure it's clear that if to if Tommy is, like, standing up on four hooves, he still has to kind of look down and beat eye to eye. As you're well, yeah, just no, having a he's fucking like, he's like stance. He's from you right now. Like, he's, he's I mean, scared. he's a scrawny-ass like, motherfucker, okay. so... Hey, hi. All right. I get it. Sorry. I'm sorry I intruded. It's okay. Good thing. Don't, don't hurt me. So about that rolling intelligence to avoid this awkward conversation. Uh, go ahead, roll. Okay. <laughs> Betty is not taking any cuff. This hard bold ass horse. One, two. Oof. No! Three. You got a three. <laughs> well, you, you proved that you're marginally smart. Not genius, but yeah, you, you knew. Yeah, all right. <laughs> you knew. It was It was fine. You, you were smart. You were smart enough to know you're just going along. Things were funny, and you just thought it was a joke. And everybody else is silly for not thinking that. I told so you smart. she's socially awkward. I'm gonna ask you for this role a lot. The intelligence role. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't first. Yeah. 
are like the the pulling facts out of your ass using intelligence to avoid awkward conversation. Just yes. like discerning what everything is. Just like okay, it's like if Lydia was like a different person. She's like okay. Oh so man, Black Horse probably is missing a. I went oh. to college. Hunter, like, if you if you want to really English sell person. that, you should send me you should send me a list of random facts that Lydia knows. <laughs> oh, random facts. oh no. <laughs> Looking doorknob just uh, or, or better yet, panels. you should make a list uh, of uh, random yeah. facts that Lydia knows so that when you succeed a role like that and I say, Okay, do it, you can say whatever and it just diffuses the conversation. Okay, yeah, I'm starting that I'm starting that now. Fun times. Fun times. We develop okay. our characters via stupidity. It's the best. Oh. <laughs> still gargles. So you anything. have successfully not angered the mafia i don't know how the hell you did it see in my head what was going to happen was hunter's character he's going to shoot the guy causing was going to either a him. shoot the guy or b when the guy booked it hunter was going to leg him <laughs> and then everybody would dogpile him well there is the positiveness of zebras being very wise I mean, he was planning on that actually. If, 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 if the clients were, if the clients were going to start getting in trouble, he was going to start shooting. Wise. I was going to shoot. <laughs> Just you know, depending on what the client does. Because what if, what if the money though? I mean, they paid up front, but like, what if I want the rest though? So you guys played that super well. Yeah. You did everything I'm... that I wanted you to do to not fuck it up, and you did great. Hey, Octi, I expect you know that part part of what I kind of want Betty to do, but I know it's stupid. What, were you going to take the cart? What? I don't even know what cart you're talking about, but... but there are two was... carts on this map, but you were next to this one. No, I'm talking about, like, right now, of kind of what I want to do, but I'm not, because it would be stupid. What but would be to thank Tommy for hiring her, walk over to a nearby phone booth, hopefully within range of him, and then give him information as we're Give the cops her information regarding the mafia and have the cops deal with it. <laughs> Just whole like sarcastic, like, wow, damn, a lot of things you can do when you're not a criminal. You absolutely could. Yeah, but I'm afraid that you're just gonna try to fucking shit on me with oh yeah, but the cops are crooked. <laughs> no. Well, no. Well, no. I know you're gonna do it because you want to use your fucking situations and not end the session here. Okay, how about? Well, I mean, do you guys want to end the session here? I don't. No. I want to go on. Yeah. So we have a guy. He's been intimidated. Foe is gurgling. We have Lydia with her gun put away. Betty's feathers are properly ruffled. I am so ruffled right Foe starts, now. Foe starts. stops gurgling. Like I hope you know, she looks like significantly poofier. <laughs> to like make herself seem bigger than she really is, if Pegasus reflexes. By the way, is Tommy like a like a fucking roadie? Yeah. Okay. I think cool. they're all roadies. I didn't see anyone with wings. No, they're basically all roadies. Nice. Losers. Yep. Just bap her with wing. <laughs> and it's what? funny that Tommy's a roadie too, because he's scrawny. <laughs> Scrawny roads are a thing. Yeah, but he's yep. like super scrawny. Like, holy oh. shit. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Betty, now that I, Betty knows that he's like not shit at all, she ain't taking none of it. Because beforehand, it was like, oh, this guy could probably call on some fucking goons to come shoot her up. Uh, now it's just like, now the goons are coming to shoot him up. I don't give a fuck. I can leave him out to dry. Yeah. When, I'm uh, holding all the cards. When, what is Lydia doing? Uh, when Terry booked it, did he leave the door open? He did. I'd like to oh, do a fuck. perception roll to see if anyone's still in the house. I don't think that requires a perception uh, roll. Okay, yeah. I actually didn't think anybody was going to do that. Uh, okay, roll your perception. Um, are you trying to make it stealthy, or are you trying to make your presence known? Let's go stealth for now. All right, uh, so you're going to roll stealth first. Okay. What is my stealth? Three. Okay, so that didn't work. Oof. 
What? All right, well, we still got to go with the perception. Oof. I'll let you roll the perception. Lydia, like, bumps her butt against the door frame and spooks herself. You got a two. That's three. Three. Three, yes. You can't count three. tonight. I can't see that two. Okay, twos look like threes tonight. I thought okay, he was a colorblind one. I need more boomer juice. Shut the fuck up. Is there boomer anyone juice. in the house? Are you checking fucking Monster Zero in your team? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust you. Don't. I imagine so, the, sh the sheep is no, just you, like, no. So... You attempt to be sneaky, but unfortunately, you are very not that great at the whole stealthy thing. And as you're sneaking up to the building, you kind of jostle the siding of it, and it goes clang. And you hear a little bit of scuffling inside. And so you go to the door, Probably a child and you see owner. a very diminutive figure hiding under the table inside. I assume no one knows where Lydia is right now. I think I know what it is. Okay, I, go I don't think any, nobody's like even like mentioned that Lydia's gone. I have a so essentially this is Lydia's like own RP. I, I did what, what I you, started what do you do? on the map. So uh, I go in the, I, I go and stand in the doorway. You Inside. stand in the doorway. Inside. Just me menacingly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You stand in the doorway menacingly. No, uh, I, nothing I, changes. I, nothing changes. I try to put on a, I try to put on a friendly face. It's uh I imagine like what that. should I roll for that? I'm like that, thinking you're you know gonna have to roll for that. Uh put put on a friendly face. Um Being socially awkward, do you know how to do that? <laughs> yeah, do you do you know how to put on a friendly face? Uh, it's a minus two to social roles. Mm, yeah, that would be it. so. I'm gonna straight say straight charisma straight. Uh, back Chariz down. Yeah, charisma straight up with a minus two. Do you so that's even like make a... that? No, that's a zero. <laughs> okay, no you dice. You 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 multiply a charisma by two, I think. And then yeah. You minus uh, two. So th in that case, um... actually, no. I think you just I think you just take a loss on that. Oh. On a charisma on a charisma roll like that, if it's if you if you have a modifier, but the modifier takes you below the threshold of your dice pool, you just auto lose. Oh, okay. My charisma is two, and I have a minus two to social rolls. Yeah. So a raw two minus two. Oh no, sorry, because it's a, a raw charisma, so that's a four. So you have two dice to roll. Okay. Roll your two dice. Because it's a two times two. That's a for yeah. a main, for a main spec roll. For, for an a eight main and a five. You got an eight and a five. You got one success. You put on your best fake smile, and even though it's super fake, at least someone could possibly see it as nice. And lucky for you, the foal that is under the table saw it as at least somewhat nice. And it kind of crawls out, and it's like, "Who are you?" Lydia, it's your. You, this are you your gonna idea. talk to it or not? It's just actually, do you want to just like stay there, just like stock still? <laughs> Please don't terrify children. It's whatever you want to do. Hunter, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. There's a child here. You could call for that. You could call for the team. I mean, they're like a hundred feet away. But if you give a good yell, that'll probably frighten the small child. You're right, but where's it gonna go? Uh, out the window or something. That would be hilarious, but I'm not that mean. Okay. Um, <laughs> child runs out window. Um, okay. Uh, I tell you what, little. Is it boy or girl? You don't know. <laughs> Little child. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to call a friend over to deal with this situation. <laughs> I immediately like snap my head so, over. <laughs> everybody hears everybody hears up. <laughs> 
from a cr from way across the street. I'm like in the middle. I, of the I say I book so my it. Right say I book it over the there. <laughs> I book it over there. Go, 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 join. Yes, yes. Everything, no, all, everything all right? There's, you guys I, do whatever I, you want I, to do. I came over. I'm with the client for, right now. I came over to look for look for clues, and there's Can I go? kid help. Sure. Oh, uh, oh. Okay, no, I'll stay. I, I enter, like, the room and I'm like, see. No. I enter the room and see the full, and so I, like, Crouch down, like I crouch down low to be more like at the foals level, and just say, "Hey, uh, what are you doing here?" I heard a big boom upstairs, and I kind I hid. Oh, you are you, are you okay? You doing all right? I'm hungry. Got anything here that you can eat? Uh, it kind of looks around curiously, and shakes his head no. Oh, well. What What's your name? Kid. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say. I swear to God, it's an androgynous name. Um. All right, kid. Uh, here. Uh, would you like this? And I pull out one of my rations. I sort of. It's like duck. some. It's like some trail mix. I mean, it's not a lot, but if you're hungry. I sort of duck it, away the from child the conversation. Kind of pause at the trail mix and, and you know. Eats a little bit, but isn't like super into it. Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry. I wish I had more. I like is there any, away is there from the conversation. Else start you? searching the house. <laughs> All right. Is Lydia, there any? Roll is... a um. Investigation. Perception. Yeah. Roll investigation. Investigation. Okay. Well, five. Five. Is, there, is is there anyone else here with you, or are you home alone? I don't know. As soon as I heard the big bang, I went under the table, and then I heard some clippity clops, and they were all gone. Oh, did well? Were you living here with uh, your parents? I'm gonna hold on to that. Lydia, you rolled a six, a two, a six, a two, and a one. Wow, huh. you did great. That was a really so good you roll. Hear yeah. Some rustling from the upstairs closet. Mm -hmm. Very quick. Almost like something moved inside. I go upstairs and draw my knife. Okay. It's a it's in the saddlebag. It's easy enough to conceal. Yeah. No, you got it. Mm -hmm. Just and gonna so, like move hold on. over here to like like I'm upstairs now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yo, you were up. You yeah. Okay. So you're upstairs. You you are facing the closet. We're gonna go back to Marcel. Uh, what was it you asked before? Say, are you, uh, are you here, uh, do you live here with your parents? Uh-uh. No, I was here with Uncle Tony and my other Uncle Tony. Oh, two Uncle oh, Tonys. Uncle. Uh, are, are they here? Or are you just alone? I don't know. <laughs> uh, back to Hunter. Uh, okay. What do you want to do about the rustling in the closet? What's the door made of? Um, like a pretty thin sheet board. Oh, God, I know it's up there. Like nothing crazy, just kind of, it's, it, it, there's really nothing to it. It's like a, come on, come on, you know what a, like a closet door is? It's just kind of, it's like press board, but really shitty and thin. Okay, Lydia opens the door. How do you want to open the door? Slowly. Slowly, huh? All right, fine. Quickly. I'm gonna have to take. Uh, okay, fine. You so you you swing the door open, and inside, you see the huddled form of an extremely scared mafia don. Damn it! I lost the bet. Damn it! I lost the bet too. <laughs> <Did you laughs> Was gonna be in there. I thought it was gonna be a second kid, and Hunter was about to threaten a kid with a knife. No, <laughs> I thought it was gonna be his parents or something, or like his mom, really. No. In the closet, you see the huddled form of an extremely scared mafia don. Right. And so he just stares at you for a second, 
Two seconds. Hi. Three sec. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so, uh... What's, can... uh, what, the, 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 uh, what, what, what's, what's your deal? <laughs> um, I thought you were about to say, what's, uh, going here, buddy? I, uh, I, I got a, I, I got a kid downstairs. Yeah, uh, he, they're, they're fine. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> and he, he kind of gets up a little bit. Start and like uprights himself from his cowering position in the in the closet. So, uh, how's this? Uh, how's this gonna work? Just tell me where that guy went, and you can go. Okay. And he steps out of the closet and still alert to you, kind of scooches around you and you know circles you trying to make his way a little bit closer to the the stairs he's like okay our guy who was supposed to take out tony he ran Oops, he, got he went back he went back to the drug house and that's where all of our operations are stationed for this area he's out of there it's on a uh, warehouse, uh, 35th and Bale. Can't miss it. Biggest thing out there. And he starts inching towards the stairs and then takes what he kind of looks behind him just to make sure that he's in a decent spot. And he looks back at you. He's like, is that good? Warehouse? Yeah. Okay. He fucking runs. <laughs> and then what's, fucking... what's going on with us downstairs when he comes barreling down? Uh, so no, no, wait, 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 wait. I yell. Mom! Okay, well... <laughs> <laughs> you just yell. <laughs> just to alert everybody. So Don't no, kill him! him. <laughs> he he wait, what did you what did you say? Don't kill him! Oh, perfect. So you hear So you hear from downstairs, Marcel, you hear a uh, as like as like big heavy hoof, like something's just start slamming down the stairs, and it's making a bunch of racket. And then from upstairs, you just hear Lydia just scream, "Don't kill him!" I instinctively, protectively get in front of the foal. Uh -huh. So, Marcel like get, gets in front of the foal. The foal of which is fucking terrified, by the way huddling back under the table, and then you see, from atop of the stairs, Marcel, you see this well-dressed, kind of sweaty-looking, like, he's big for a pony, but, you know, and he just, he fucking barrels down the stairs and fucking blasts through the door onto the street, losing his foot, and he's trying to go the other way down the street, and he fucking books it all the way down the street and fucking disappears out of sight down the next corner. So he ran off without the kid? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he ran off without the kid. Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder whose kid he is. He... Uh, that's a good question. Uh, whose kid is that? Hey, um, do, do you know uh, how to get to your home from here? Uh, no. Usually they just put me in the back of a carriage and take me to wherever I'm going that day. Oh. Uh, okay. I know what my daddy does, though. Oh, uh, what would that be? Uh, he... Uh... He... Uh... uh I know what he's gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say it, and I know what to say it, too. You caught me. <laughs> you caught me in my dirty little deed. Stop. <laughs> he whacks people for a living. Ah, I I see. Do you do you know where he works? 
like where he maybe will be and we can take you to him? He'd probably be at the house. Ah, okay. Um, it's going to be hard for us to figure out. Uh, do you, do you yeah. know, like, <laughs> do, you, do you know, like, your street address? Like, what street you're on or the number? I know that we live in Bel Air. You live in Bel Air. Okay. Kids like got turned upside down. <laughs> with this sit right there, I'll tell you how a bunch of randos killed my dad in Bel Air. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Um, actually, we have somebody uh who might who might actually know exactly where that is here. Uh. Would, would you mind coming with? We might be able to get you back to your house. Uh, I'm still upstairs. Yeah, you are still upstairs. Yeah, are you gonna fucking move? Uh, <laughs> Lydia's no. just standing there catatonic, just like... No, actually, <laughs> what what should I roll for ransacking the place? <laughs> that would be thievery. Thievery, gotcha. Nice. But but I'm not, I'm not trying to rob the place. Yeah, but like ransacking, is a that's a, a thievery art form. All right, then that's a three. Come on, there's nobody in the house. All right, perfect. You got a one. Perfect. So <laughs> one, you start two. lousing the fucking place. <laughs> you start lousing the place, and you find a letter. What's the letter that? reads, Dear Mook, take care of my dipshit. No at all. <laughs> Piece of fucking shit, cousin Tommy. Sincerely, Tony. He's trying to take him out for a nice dinner, give him a good time. All right. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. You said he dropped the rifle. He did drop the rifle, yes. Okay. I take the scope off that rifle. Awesome. All right. Um, give yourself a, give yourself a, uh... I just imagine, like, the gang walking up into the, like, the roof, and you see, like, Lydia just calmly sitting at the window seal, unscrewing and unhooking the scope, putting on the freaking... It's not that hard uh, to take a scope off. Yeah, like, you just kind of fucking do it. Yeah, but it no, 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 like no, 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 like, he takes off. the scoop. The scope off very calmly, very quietly. They're, like you hear a pin drop, and then she has to rewrap the fucking thing again. <laughs> yeah. No, the scope's going in the sa in the saddlebag. I don't got time to fucking unwrap and rewrap <laughs> that fucking thing. Fucking thing but like again. Lydia just making herself at fucking home in this like mafia house. Perfect. Okay, so now the top room's in fucking shambles. The rifle lost its the rifle lost its thing, Hunter. Yeah. Um. Hey, Acti, real, real quick. Oh yeah, what? I I I have to ask. Are there such a thing as like the hoof version of fingerprints? Hoof prints. Um. I, yeah, I kind of like. I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend. I, I don't know, know if that's real, but I'm gonna. Pretend. Yeah, I don't care if it's real or not. I just want to know if you're doing that. Yeah. Sure, why not? I'll figure something out around it. Okay, so Hunter, for that scope, right? Yeah. Uh, I want you to write in. I already got the screen open. Assuming that the that the scope is on the rifle, right? Yeah. If the scope is equipped on the rifle, give yourself a. Uh, okay, here, I'm just going to explain how it works. So basically, so there's an aim shot, right? Yeah. It's a combat maneuver. Mm -hmm. You can aim a shot. In order to get the full plus four, typically you would have to wait two rounds to aim the shot. But now that you have a nice high-powered scope, you only have to wait one to get the full plus four to your shot. Enjoy your new toy. That is the benefit of the scope. Uh, 
So wait, so wait only one turn for aim shot? Full, full power. Yeah, so how it would work is you would call an aim shot on a specific enemy, and then you wait one round, and your next, the next attack round, your next attack round has a plus four, assuming you don't move. So plus four dice for the shot, gotcha. Yes, plus uh, four dice for the shot, assuming you don't move. Wait on the scope? Um, give it one pound. They're, they're white. It doesn't change the amount of strength you need to wield the weapon. Okay. So mechanically, it's pretty much the same, but you just scrounged it off some guy's nice rifle. Okay, I'll add it to the backpack. Yee. Yeah. Perfect, okay. So, Marcel, you said you wanted to lead the kid. Well, what I said to him was, uh, hey, uh, I have someone that I think is in your family uh, that's just outside in the park, and he might know uh, where we can find your house so we can take you home. Would that's you be willing Jay to come Savage. with? Thank you.